hi once again to everybody back in the United States. Uh, it's week three here in Cambodia, and today is July 3rd. It is my 29th birthday. I was born July 3rd, 1981, so happy birthday to me. And just a special thank you to Family Room Church for the awesome video and for the singing and the cake and all that. It was great. It was a blessing. And even a more special thank you to Ellen for putting that video together and making it so awesome. And I just loved it. It was wonderful. So thank you, Ellen, for that video. And uh, again, thank you for all the prayer as well. For And just keep praying for the Cambodian people. So thank you. So week three, uh, let me think. My sister in Perome this week have been very busy putting the program and the invitation for their wedding together. They're getting married August 7th. And what's been going on is they've needed to get their program done before the end of this week because the pastor is leaving Cambodia. He will be coming back for the wedding. But he wanted to make sure that it was done before he left. So they've been needing to get that done. And so they've been working hard on getting songs that they wanted in their wedding because the translation is difficult. And they wanted to make sure that the wedding, you know, had the Khmer culture and the English culture mixed in together to make it a wonderful wedding and it's going to be. And they've been and we've also been driving around town here in Phnom Penh trying to get the invitations printed and trying to find somewhere that will print them for a reasonable price. So I just ask that you guys would pray that their wedding would go great and that it would be wonderful like I know it's going to be. I'm excited about it. Uh, other things I've been doing here in Cambodia is on Mondays and Tuesdays I teach English class to the university students who want to learn English. And again, I just ask that you pray for them, that there would be an opportunity to tell them the good news of Jesus Christ through that. And other than that, uh, we're getting prepared for English camp, which is in a couple weeks, where we will be bringing people from the United States to teach English to the Cambodian people. And that's going to be awesome. It's a week long. There's also activities that will be going on, so we've been getting ready for that. My sister goes to Field Forum next week, which is at the beach. So next week I get to go to the beach and go on a little bit of a, a vacation. So that should be fun. Uh, other than that, just spending time with my sister and with Perome and trying to be there to do whatever I can to help. So that's just what been, what's been going on here in Cambodia. And, you know, just once again, thank you for all the prayer. I can't tell you how much it's a blessing to me to know that people are praying. It's great. So thank you. And I will talk to you again at the end of next week. So God bless, and I will talk to you later, okay? Bye. This is Troy teaching English at the dorm. Okay. Uh, so just a little bit of an experience. Obviously, I'm here in Cambodia. I can't speak a lie, and I asked my sister, you know, how to say certain words. But then I get into the situation, and I'm afraid, because I think I might say it wrong, you know, and, like, embarrass myself. And, but I've also learned that the only way I'm going to learn how to speak the lie is if I actually do it with other people. Um, so I just wanted to, to do that practice to let you guys understand that the best way to learn to speak English is to practice using the following phrases with four to phrases with since without changing the meaning. So I will show you, the, I will do the first one for you, okay, because it says for two years. And then to change that, it would be since 2008. So everybody thinks that Dairy Queen only is in the Midwest. Well, it made it all the way over here to Cambodia. This is at the airport. They have a Dairy Queen. So I'm not missing out on too much. We're on the moto at nighttime. Again, I just want to see, show everybody what it, the traffic's like here in Phnom Penh. 
traffic jam. And there's the carnival and the water park. They have a big Ferris wheel where lots of people like to go at nighttime. We got little markets on the streets, people walking down the middle of the street. Yeah, little kids, little kids riding the moto with their parents. All right, everybody, this is Phnom Penh for you. When it rains, as you can see, we're on the road, and it's just a flood. This is where we're eating at. This is the sushi restaurant my sister and Perome took me to. They just bring the sushi. This is the water park we, we're going to for my birthday. So we're going to do some swimming. Hopefully take some video. They have a waiting. They go waiting and stuff like that there. And it looks like there's some stuff. I don't know. I can't see. Here that. he comes. <laughs> In the water. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Come on, this is Troy. He's going to be playing the carnival game this team. Here he has to hit one of these targets here. Here's his throw. Oh, he hit number two. First time driving in Phnom Penh, everybody. On my birthday, this is what, this is what I wanted to do. Pumping traffic, as you can see. That's how you do it, Pro. You just lay on the horn and you go. Right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> what is that guy doing? That's Driving it. like a crazy <laughs> maniac. People around here don't know how to drive. They're all over the place.